All right. Looks like it's recording. A, A, that's good. I've got to relive what took place about a week ago. I was in the mall having a massage, one of those chair massages for about 30 bucks, good deal. And I came out right here in this area with the JC Pennies and Dave and Buster behind me. And I was waiting for Marilyn to come up in our Jeep to pick me up. And I had to use the men's facility, so I thought I'd go to Dave and Buster's, figured it says restaurant. I figured I'd go in there and use the men's facility. And I walked through and I was immediately shocked. And so I'd like to show you that clip as I walk you through it. Now you can see as I'm walking through, there is nothing but noise and confusion. And I was overwhelmed by that. I'm not used to noise and confusion. And I thought to myself, who in the world could work in a place like this? It would drive you crazy. Uh, and uh, there were just so much noise and machines and lights and sound. I could barely find the restaurant. There was a restaurant at the very end I saw it. So as I was meandering my way, I decided to get my camera out and take a picture of what I'm experiencing just going to the men's restroom. And it was shocking to see so much confusion and so much noise. And there wasn't even a lot of people in there at this point. Uh, there was going to be because it's open, I discovered, even till one o'clock in the morning. So it's kind of a hangout. Now, I'm not speaking against these kind of places, Chuck E. Cheese, Dave and Buster's, you know, these kind of amusement parks that adults go to as well as parents take their children. But what I want to talk about that just seemed to pop out at me was peace. I felt there is no peace and there's confusion. Uh, and I was disturbed with all the noise and the lack of peace. And so it hit me that that is really a good drone bear pause to talk about. How is your peace? The Bible tells us thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. And so God wants us to walk in perfect peace and you can establish a life of peace. And you can be a place that is in your life that is confusing. And if you have Jesus, the Lord of your life, you can be in peace, even in chaos. You can make peace come because peace is internal. It comes from the Lord. And so no matter what you're facing, you've got to judge your life by the amount of peace that you're in. Are you living in perfect peace? And if you're not, then you've got to say to yourself, your mind must not be stayed on Jesus. And so you can use peace as a gauge to your walk in Christ. If you're walking in perfect peace, then you have a lot of Jesus in you. If you're not in peace, you're confused, you're upset, you're agitated, you're constantly troubled, uh, you don't rest well at night, you're always moving about confused, you can't think straight, you're upset, basically you're not in peace. Now the Greek word in ray for peace, or obviously the Hebrew word that you will recognize immediately, shalom, is peace. That peace has carrying with it contentment, quietness, a, 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 a place where your soul is at rest. You're resting in the Lord. If some of those things are missing in your life, a rest and a contentment and a quietness to your being, you're not in peace. And it's a good gauge. There are over 330 passages in the scriptures that talk about God wanting to establish us in peace. It's interesting when Jesus resurrected from the dead and he saw the disciples in the upper room fearful, terrified, in wonderment what they were going to do. It's interesting that the first thing he speaks to them, he says, peace be with you. God wants us to live in peace. It's the byproduct of the Christian life. It comes part and parcel with having received Christ as your savior. Jesus wants you 
to have that peace. And if you don't have it, it's time that you get right with Jesus. Go to him and cry out, Lord, I am needing peace. I need peace in this situation. I lost my wife. I lost my husband in untimely death. Uh, I have sickness and disease. A cancer is eating me away. The list goes on and on. You can think of all those things that will try to rob you of peace. Jesus wants us to have it. The devil hates us and wants us to live in confusion. This is why the Bible tells us that Satan is the author of confusion. And anytime there's confusion, you know where the source is coming from. The robber of our soul that wants to take our peace. Don't buy into it. Reject it and get close to Jesus. Cuddle up to his lap. Cuddle up to him in prayer and say, Lord Jesus, I need you to fill my life, my mind and my body with peace. That can be an ongoing prayer that God wants us to have with him to determine your walk. And shalom is the word that I leave with you. I leave you with this word to pause and ponder.